Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show. It's House Flipper. So when we left off in the last episode, we had done the complete uh, cleanup. We did the walkthrough, and we discussed what we're going to do. So... We are going to leave the main hall bathroom. That will be for everybody. Uh, the bedroom that's directly here to the right will probably be reduced by one tile. The master bedroom that was off and to the left that has the sliders out to the backyard. We are going to remove the master bathroom from that room. We will extend this middle room here. Whoops. We'll extend this middle room here. So we're going to make the, uh, we're going to get rid of this room. Uh, we're going to get rid of all this stuff. We're going to bring the wall down to <coughs> about here, I believe it is. I believe it's just three tiles, right? Uh, it looks like one, two, three. It looks like three tiles. So we will, the wall will come out to here and it'll go straight across. Um, and then off of this room here, we will use this as a storage uh, or uh, uh, a library um, with, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's an easy word too. Laundry. Laundry. We're going to put laundry in there. Okay, so let's, uh, let's come in here and let's sell some things. Uh, we're going to sell that. We're going to sell that. We're going to sell that, that, that. Boy, those cabinets were dirt cheap. Eight bucks. Jeez, I'm crow. Of course, it would have been 40 bucks for me to buy them, but anyways. Okay, so this bathroom is fine. It's got a shower, toilet, shower, sink, towel rod. Perfect, right? Right, let's, uh, does this, uh, this thing here in the floor doesn't sell. And I'm not going to patch those because, uh, well, I don't need to. I'm going to be, uh, removing that wall. Okay, so everything is out of here, right? Um, it's got heat. That room's got heat. That doesn't need... Whoops. It doesn't need heat. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to reuse that stove. Very good. We're going to start over here at the living room door. I am going to remove... This uh, piece of wall. And then I'm going to start removing this piece of wall. Didn't think so. Doubled up on the wall. What a stupid thing to do. Right? Yeah. So not really losing any space in this bedroom. But I am getting rid of a weird dog in the living room. Alright, I'm going to continue to take this wall down and we will be back. Okay, so there we have it. We now have a nice flush wall. Uh, I did add a one piece in here because uh, I, I needed symmetry with uh, the walls coming across. So let us uh, let us start working on getting out these lentils. Not sure we need these lentils. I'm gonna pretend that I have a recessed beam in the ceiling. So we don't need these lentils. Okay. So we got that. We're going to put one piece right there. Alright. And then we're going to come around over here. I'm getting rid of this. Okay, now we're going to grab the 
stove. Come over here. Stove is going to go in there. Okay. Now, I need to put this. So that's two, right? And that would be one, two, three. Okay, so I do need the third one. Okay, perfect. So, okay, that is reframe. We need to take this out. Again, unnecessary. Clears that out. Very good. It gives that a nice, nice uh, straight wall. Very good. This is a nice dining area, but it doesn't need to be this big. I think we'll bring the living room uh, out and over to here. I think that makes the most sense. Um, that way we've got... Uh, can have like a sitting area, then we can have like the formal living room area. Uh, dining area. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So, that gives us plenty of wall space. Yeah, that's that's the kitchen. Okay. Bedroom? Fine. Yeah, fine. Now, come in here. Um, we're going to... Demo out that wall. Okay, we're going to finish demoing out that section, and then we'll be back. And, now you can see just how much more room that actually gives us in here uh, for a master bedroom. So, master bedroom, secondary bedroom, shared bathroom, and then in here we can have a library slash a laundry room. So, if I keep the plumbing on the wall over here, yeah, I need to see... I'm going to have to change flooring, of course. Uh, you need a bucket of plaster to fill the hole in that wall. Okay, let's, uh, let's take care of that real quick. So, we're going to go out here. We're going to go plaster. Search. Bucket of plaster. By now, right there. Nope. Uh, e, switch to plaster. Okay. There's no wall there anymore. But apparently, even though I took it out, I still have to plaster it. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to put it in the garage for now. I don't think there's any other walls that require plastering. Um, I'm right on. Okay, so, that's everything reconfigured. Um, okay, now... Flooring is going to be, I don't necessarily know, I don't know if I want the dining room to be this big though, because we're going to have the, we're going to have the living room, oh, the couch, the TV next to it, normally I would ha uh, hang the TV above the fireplace. I wish I could just grab this and move it. You know what I mean? But, let, let me do something here. Let's come into here. How about cable? Anything? 
Um, internet. Anything? Outlet. Just those two types. Um, electronic equipment. Anything. Hmm. Not really. Okay. So, do we have a dryer? Just that style. Okay. How about washer? So, even though it's very European, we've got a uh, washer plumbing system, mountable washer. Okay. No, no. No, no, no. That, that, that's right. So, we're going to... We're going to come in there, okay, and we're going to tab out of it. I want to figure this out sooner rather than later. So, um, we'll do it like so. Um, tab, if I go buy now. Okay, so it does have to kind of go on that wall. Right? Right? You can buy a washer and mount it here. Um, so now, if I go back out to here, and I go washer... Washer plumbing system. Okay. So that's that, right? Apparently, I have to unscrew this. Okay, now, by now, there we go, come around this way, okay, I want to assemble, of course I do, come on. Let the tumbler free. So that it can tumble. There you go. Yeah, you should go cross corners on that, just so you're aware. Right? Now. Neatly tucked away in there. There is my washing machine. Now, if I go out to here and I go dryer. Um, we have clothes dryer, Mona. Now, I want to go uh, back and go dryer. Okay, and then we come over here, we go uh, back in here, you know, shelf, old fashioned hanging shelf, garage shelves, no, nope. we're just going to go with these, cabinet shelves, white and gray, pure white, white and gray, Pure white, we'll go pure white. Um, there we go. So it's gonna go like so. Oops, I went 
to buy many. So that still gives us a pretty good amount of space for uh, like a library, a document storage library. So let's picture that opens there. So we're going to come in here like so. It's going to be, um, yeah, there, there. There. Um, how wide is a doorway? That's uh, well, apparently that makes me be outside. Okay, a doorway is one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Right on. Okay, so. If I come in here and I go uh, doors and windows, uh, glass sauna door, by now, flip it this way, That works for me. Okay, so we do that. Um, it's five deep, right? We got that, so let's come in here. Uh, doors and windows, we are going to go light. And it's going to be, uh, we're gonna start with a modern light switch. So let us come in here. Um, so top hinge, bottom hinge, I'm going to go like so, I want to make sure that I'm standing up, okay, one, two, right there, okay, going to go back in installations, we're going to go back out here, we're going to go lamps, um, Small fluorescent lighting, right? If I buy this here, like so. Uh, let's do... Um, fluorescent lighting by many. I can go there. And I can go... There. No. Right. Right. Now, if I do this, that's plenty of lighting. Excellent. Okay. So now that's that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to come in here. I want to go uh, walls. And we want to go wall panels or wall tiles. No. wall tiles, white walls, black and white, white ceramic tiles, I know, okay, switch to Night. 
nice and bright white. Excellent. So I'm going to finish off this room and we'll be back. All right. So everything has been done. Now, if we pop in, uh, we've, we've tiled the walls. Uh, we put in some lighting um, and we've tiled the floors and whatnot. And there's a light switch there. Um, so something I have to remember here, this is not the design stage. This is the, uh, the flooring and wall color stage. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, put down all the flooring in all the rooms and paint all the walls. And uh, and when we come back, you'll see all that and we'll uh, we'll wrap up the episode. All right. So we've uh, we're back. We finished the uh, the painting. So I went with this this uh, this color here um, go here. Uh, a natural beige. I went with a natural beige for all the uh, the main field walls. Um, I, I, I stuck with this tan carpet. Um, I, I like it. It reminds me of a Berber. Very durable. Um, I left the brick unpainted. Um, I, I like that. Uh, we went with the beige. We surrounded the beige. Uh, I put in new flooring. Um, and then into the kitchen, I did black and white on the floors with a uh, distressed black and white tile on the walls um, because the theme of the kitchen uh, with the cabinetry is going to be is going to be rather interesting and i'd like to have the backsplash like be bold like that so as we come down we come into the first bedroom here uh, you, uh the secondary bedroom anyways um and i used a uh, white paneling uh white wood paneling on the walls uh i actually like paneling so uh that, that's my thing and i put a blue carpet in uh and then we come down further we've got the um the little library is here um i like how that's uh translucent can't see through it until you you get closer Eep, there you go um so we've got the uh we've got the library um I put a, a red carpet down. I wanted, I, there was a really ornate carpet I wanted to put down, but it was too big for the room. Um, just, just a skosh too big for the room. So I got the red carpet down. We'll put bookshelves in here and whatnot. It'll be a place to store uh, their books and documents and things like that. But I carried the uh, the, the beige down the hallway. Uh, then we come into the bathroom and I went with a, a, a very light blue on the floor and a light blue and dark blue on the walls. Um, yeah, we got that going. And then in here, I went with the same carpeting that, that's in the living room, the, uh, the beige or the tan Berber. And I used a, a, a light green, like a, like a moss green. And this, this one was actually called, uh, called young flower bud. And, uh, so I thought I had a hue of yellow, but it's actually it looks, looks green to me. So we went with the green. Um, now we want to come down through, uh, before we go, I want to throw in some, um, some lighting um, um well you know I, I i can do the lighting when i furnish the rooms um i think what i'll do before i go though uh, or well uh, after i go is i'll put in the outlets I'll, I'll put outlets around um where i'd like to have them placed and then uh light switches and then when we come back next week um when we come back next week, we'll furnish the rooms, we'll do the window treatments, we'll build the kitchen out, uh, and we'll put the lighting in. All right? So, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions, tips, tricks, anything like that, put them in the comments below, because I'm going to read them. And with that, I will catch you next Tuesday for another episode of House Flipper. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above, or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.